Okay, this video applies to the errors that some of you may be having with Nexus font and Windows 10, uh, especially after the anniversary update or the creator's update. And so the first part of this solution is kind of common out there and you may have seen it before, but the second part of the solution um, I just discovered recently, so I thought I'd share it with you. So you know that you're having the problem with Nexus font and with Windows because you'll open up a document that you know has a font in there and that you know you have the font, but you'll try to click in there and you can't, it doesn't even seem to have a font or know that the font, you know, exists. So I can see up here that it knows it's looking for advent, but it doesn't show anything, it's white. And so then I may say, well, let me go over and check out um, Nexus font and um, you know so I can pull up Nexus font and I can see here that it shows that these fonts are installed in Windows but they're blank as well and so it almost basically seems as if everything is missing so essentially what I'm gonna do is close down out of uh, InDesign that was just for an example and we'll open it up again in a second but and also close out of Nexus font so the first part of this solution I, as I mentioned, you may have seen before, but it involves going into the services section. Uh, there's many ways to get there. You can go through the control panel, etc., or you can simply type services.msc. Services.msc, click on OK. And what you're going to be looking for in here is something that seems to be causing a lot of grief, not only with Nexus font, but with Suitcase Fusion, etc. But when you roll down to the bottom here, you'll see a thing called um, Windows Font Cache Service. And so Windows Font Cache Services, um, what you can do is you can come in here and you can right click on it and you can say properties and you'll want to stop it if it started and you'll want to change it from automatic to disabled. Um, however, you'll notice though that I'm having these problems even though I had already disabled this. So this has been listed as a solution for you know some time that the Windows Font Cache service would fix it, but obviously I have this disabled, it's not starting up automatically, and I'm still having the problems. So here's the next part of the solution. The next part of the solution is to go into Nexus Font, and this may be kind of a, a, a bit of a pain depending on how many fonts you have installed or the way that you have them organized or installed. But so, for example, I've kind of organized mine into different types of font families and things. But what you'll do is you'll come into whatever folder that you have the fonts in that you're having problems with. And in this case, the whole folder is installed. So I'm just going to do Control A for select all. And I'm going to uninstall the fonts. Now, when I installed my fonts, I'd leave the files where they are. And so on uninstall, you don't want to uninstall and delete. You just say leave the files where they are and click on OK. So it'll, of course, ask you for the, you know, little permission or whatever to let the program do what it does. But now you'll notice as soon as I uninstall them, they're all back. Um, so what was showing up white before, now all of a sudden they're all back in. So again, if I just do a control A and now I install them again and saying leave files where they are, preference. Again, I'll let the computer do you know what it does, but now it'll install those fonts. So I'll close out of Nexus font and I'll open up this InDesign document again. And you'll see all of a sudden that my fonts have returned. And so, you know, depending on what, um, you know, you may have done with the, the font, you may have to kind of, you know, tweak it back to the, you know, original font that you were wanting or, or whatever it is. But sometimes you'll have to tweak with the size a little bit, but at least it's back installed again. So remember, this is the document that I had open earlier that was just showing basically nothing for the font. And so that is the fix that I have found with Nexus font. So if you uninstall the font, leave it where it is and install it again, it should work well and you should be back up and running. And best of luck to you.